It took me a long time to realize that you could make a life out of telling stories. I think that's the whole thing about this movie, is that when you meet other people or you see other women doing things that you've always wanted to do and you see that it's possible, it instantly makes you feel like you could do it too. Do what makes you happy. Do what you love and shine that brightly. And then other people will see that that's a possibility. I do think you can do a lot by putting your mind to things that you know, it doesn't negate all of the class and race issues we have in this country, but it sure helps and it's not a bad way to, to live your life is focusing on what you do want to do and believing you can do it. That the society that we operate in doesn't cultivate that relationship. It tells us that we should want something, anything, other than what we actually have. Look on the TV and every little station is something different that says, buy me or do this or you're not. How dare people tell us that we should restrict our life to their idea of who we are. We don't even know who we are. We don't know what we can do until we try. I feel like it's our responsibility as we move through our life to be more vulnerable, more exposed, and, and reach out to more in a, in a bigger way. I wanted to see more women in the media who embodied the person that I wanted to become, who was happy and healthy and living their dreams. Women need more representation. In the world, there's not that many visual images of women of color. There's so many things that keep us feeling useless. Even if we don't fully buy into ways of thought, they're still so there in the background. What I want to say is this is what a 78-year-old woman's life can look like. People put me in this category of being very religious and, and holding on to traditional religious values. I'm actually not doing that. I think I am a, uh, I call myself a, a Muslim feminist because I think Muslim women have been extremely misunderstood. I'm trying to show that people with different kinds of backgrounds can actually provide um, or be professional in different societies. I started an eating disorder because I live in this society and our magazines say that if you don't look like this, then there's something wrong with you. It's disturbing that, that the media is of such sway that even little girls are already beginning to nitpick and like, and like I was saying earlier, self-criticize to an almost hateful degree how they look. If you're miserable, if you're feeling like, like you're unhappy and there's not truth to to what you've been told, then know that you're probably right. There's probably a different viewpoint that's gonna make you happier. This film will move you to live your dream, to be the person that you wanna be and not wait another day. We used to live in a top-down society, and so we kind of waited for information to filter down to us and just sort of accepted whatever information was given to us. What social media has done is it's shifted that and now we're in more of a bottom up. So we can create grassroots movements and we can move them up through these different channels. There are a lot of documentaries out there about women and the lack of representation of women in the media. And we're all very aware that there's a lack of representation in the media, but what is everyone doing about it? When individual parts reorganize into a larger whole, it's like all these completely new possibilities and new capacities emerged that weren't there before. You know, like they're not in the individual parts, they're in the connections that happen when, it, when the connections happen in the whole. To be the first generation that's willing to volunteer ourselves to work with the information that we hold, let go and forgive all the traumas that happen, all the uncomfortable memory. I want everyone to realize how beautiful and generous they are. They're here not just for themselves, but for all of us.